Republicans weren't the only ones critical of the president's plan. Many people showed up outside the Desert Vista High School to have their voices heard. ABC 15 Sarah Goldenberg joins us live outside the school. And Sarah, what were their concerns? Well, Katie and Steve, protesters I spoke with were concerned with more than the economy. They mentioned the gridlock in Washington and immigration reform. But the president still had plenty of supporters to welcome him here to the valley. A lively crowd waited for the president to arrive in the valley. Obama. Hundreds crowded 32nd Street for a chance to be heard. Protesters outnumbering supporters. I don't see him being able to fix anything at this point because he can't get the Congress to work with him. Well, he's not trying to help them. Terry Ballway says President Obama hasn't done enough to get Phoenix and the rest of the country out of the housing crisis. She says the economy has a long way to go. I've got friends that they've had to give their homes up because they can't, they have to go into floor closure. And that's not right. These people worked hard. Republicans aren't the only ones upset with the president's policies. Those fighting for immigrant rights called for President Obama to step up to their cause. We're out here to tell President Obama to stop the deportations. Um, you can't come to an area like Phoenix, like Arizona after 1070, Joe Arpaio, and not talk about immigration. But others welcomed his visit and made sure to show it. I am thrilled beyond belief. I'm hoping I get a glimpse of him even for one second. Susan Hartler brought a different message with her. And we just want to sh welcome him and, and not let him see the hateful side. For Susan, the glass is half full. She believes the president's policies are helping. It's much better. Better and better all the time. I just see good things ahead. Well, overall, we found protesters were from both sides of the aisle. Both Democrats and Republicans wanted answers, and not all of their concerns were addressed today, Katie and Steve. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Well, today's